everybody in this episode we are going to make the train animate a couple things if you are using another constraint like other than this revolve constraint revolute constraint on most of your circular pieces we're going to have some problems um, also i used a parallel constraint on this spoke right here and this spoke right here so that when it spins around the wheels stay parallel to themselves and then it also helps keep the linkage arm on. I did the same thing on this side. So if uh, you did not, if you have something different, you might wanna go back and watch the video that's popping up up there. Um, I'm gonna put this link right here. I'm gonna put this linkage arm straight up and I'm gonna revolve around and I'm gonna put this linkage arm like straight down. I'm gonna use a parallel constraint because these wheels are parallel with each other. So I'm gonna do these back wheels parallel with each other. So let's zoom in, click on the center of that. Now I'm gonna spin around using my arrow keys, just a little bit easier. And I'm gonna zoom over here. And so as you can see here, a wheel just disappeared. But if I hit my green checkbox, it reappears. And I'm going to close that real fast. And when I move this, you can see the axle on the other side moving around or the linkage arm moving around. This is great. Okay, now let's animate. One of the very first uh, revolve mates that we used was for the wheel. And so you're going to want to find that one. And it's one of the top ones. And for me, it's the very first one. So I'm going to right click here. And I am going to right click and I'm going to rename and I'm going to call this wheel spin. And it kicks me in there. That's too bad. Why did you do that? I don't know. Let me undo that. I guess I'll just leave it there. But I know it's the first one. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go to animate. And I am going to hit play. You can see it's kind of moonwalking, and it's moonwalking because, or it's moving backwards, and it, then it goes forward, because of the plane that I set it on. If I would have set it on the plane going the opposite, facing us, it would not do that. So let's do this. Let's throw a negative 360 here. Let's also change this from reciprocal to loop. Press play. And now you've got your first animation. The wheels are spinning. Your choo-choo is getting ready to roll down the track. Good job.